one of the activities that you can do uh, in message zero one is uh, locking or unlocking the user IDs. Now, locking and unlocking of the user IDs uh, uh, should could be done because for various reasons. One of the reasons could be that the user has left the company. Another reason could be that uh, manager temporarily wants a user to be logged out. So he may ask you as a security administrator to log that user ID. Now s 01 works on one user at a time uh, that we know. And if you want to use uh, mass users or unlock mass users after locking them, we use the transaction code SU10. Now, one other transaction code that SAP has provided in ECC environment, that is the R3 environment, is for for uh, performing mass user logs and unlocks is the transaction code EWZ5. Now EWZ5 could be used for locking and unlocking user IDs uh, at one shot. Uh, in SUT, at least, you know, you have to copy paste the user IDs uh, uh, for it in order to In SU10, you have to copy paste the user IDs in order to lock them or unlock them. And, but here, you don't need to do that. The user IDs are listed uh, to you and uh, you can use this lock button or the unlock users to lock or unlock the user IDs. Now, you need to be careful while using this uh, uh, transaction code. Uh, one of the things that it does is uh, this will not lock the user IDs that are already locked and it will not lock the user IDs that have been marked as uh, administrators, your administrators. So in order to, if you don't want somebody to be locked, you click on choose and then select the checkbox and save it so that those user IDs will not be logged during the lock process. So once that process is done, after you have indicated what user IDs should not be locked, and uh, the IDs that are designed, uh, def uh, defined as uh, user administrator, you can hit the lock icon. Now depending on how many users you have, it will take a few seconds or a few minutes for the system to log those user IDs. So if you see the log here, it will tell you 2,689 user IDs have been logged in this example. If you go back, you can see the log status uh, that the user IDs have been logged. Now you could use a UWZ5 again to unlock the user IDs, or SAP also gives you a transaction code called EWZ6. But uh, right now, let's log the user, unlock the user IDs. And this will again take few min seconds or minutes, depending on how many user IDs you have uh, to be unlocked. Now, if you see the user IDs that were already logged, they have not been unlocked. So, that this is the beauty of this uh, transaction code that it will not it locks only those user IDs that have that are unlocked and when you unlock them it will only unlock the user IDs that you have been you have locked using this transaction code itself. Now another transaction code is EWZ6 which is the same as EWZ5. So you can either use SU can for user for mass user logs and unlocks, in which case you'll have to copy paste the user IDs, or you could write and have an ECAT script written for that act locking and unlocking activity, or you could use this transaction code EWZ5 or EWZ6. The only care you need to take care is that you define the user IDs that don't need to be logged as 
uh, you're the administrator by checking this box and the way you can do it is that you click on choose user and then check the box and once you save it that user becomes the user administrator and then after you save and go back then when you log the user id the system will only lock uh, those users that are unlocked and it will ignore two types of user ids one the ids that are already locked and second one the ids that have been defined as euro administrators so this is how you, now you can use uh, ewz5 uh, for locking and unlocking mass users